Today we're gonna talk about a deal that we just went to go look at where we jumped on the boat. We went to go look at a uh, quadruplex. This deal came across my desk when it first came out and they were asking 1.4 for a quadruplex. We jumped in the boat. We'll also show you the comp that's currently on the market. Very similar floor plan, but they converted it from four units to three units. When you sent me the numbers of their proven numbers of, on Airbnb, I was like, they shouldn't have sent us these at all because all they did was scare us away. Like, oh, I slapped paint on this beam here and therefore the house is renovated. We're done. So let's tack on an extra yeah. $100,000 to the price. Right. What? Let's talk about a little bit about how you underwrite and how you put it through AirDNA and some other uh, platforms. What I use AirDNA for is this deal, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts? Pass, negotiate at a low rate. I think we just. Welcome to The Big Break Show, your go-to podcast for real estate investing, business acquisition, mindset, and lifestyle. Now, let's dive into season two with your hosts, Rafa Loza and Dan Tollins. What's up, everybody? We're back with another short segment of The Big Break Show. Yeah. Yeah. Living it, bro. So we're still here, smoking our cigars, recording a few uh, series for you guys to listen to. And uh, these will get dropped, uh, sprinkled in between episodes of our interviews. Uh, but like we've said we've, before, we want to teach you guys. We want to share our experience with you guys. We're not just here trying to, you know, stroke our egos by being on camera. We want to actually learn, which is why we interview. And we want to teach, which is why we do it on camera here, why we record it and put it on audio and visual for you guys to, to learn as we learn. Because um, that's how I pick up stuff. I listen and I watch and um, I have fun doing so. And sure. So, smoke your cigars, uh, pick yourself up a cigar, pick yourself a cup of coffee, do this while you're, you're running, whatever you are, but hopefully you enjoy this episode. Um, today, we're going to talk about a deal that we just went to go look at where we jumped on the boat. And uh, can you see the boat back here? No, oh, you can't see the boat back here. Uh, but where uh, we went to go look at a uh, quadruplex in Top Sail Beach, being here that I'm still in North Carolina. You want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, and I think the other part of uh, why we want to kind of talk about deals, right? So, since we've kind of started doing our thing together and, and getting out of the rapid fire of the fix and flip industry and, and doing more, uh, you know, medium and, and long money as far as the boutique hotels or new construction or renovating historic homes or, you know, whatever the, the, the case might be, right. Or trying out different asset classes. Uh, but you know, you go from having all this content and footage of, Hey, look what we did at this house flip today. So I think it's also important to, go over you know what all we're looking at and if we have a chance to, to share something like we did on water wednesday it was a beautiful day and uh you you said hey man we we're, we're here we're getting settled uh it's time to start you know doing some stuff and i said well this deal came across my desk when it first came out uh and they were asking 1.4 for a for a quadruplex mm -hmm. and you know trying to concentrate on boutique hotels but also trying to Part of that is short-term rentals. Um, you don't always have to do everything with the same partnership. And, uh, you know, we like we like this deal because Cassie can concentrate on the boutique hotels. Uh, this gives you and I a chance to really do something, just you and I. Uh, so, again, Water Wednesday, we jumped in the boat, reached out to the, the guy that sent us the deal and said, hey, uh, we've got some travel plans or whatever kind of coming up and Maybe this this would work out today to, to jump up and, and, and go look at it. And uh, fortunately, it worked out because he was traveling too. And it was actually quicker to go by boat. That's right. So it took us an hour and 15 minutes to go right here out the, the backyard and uh, drive the intercoastal waterway, pull up to their community landing for tops. So they've got 14 spots. And it was a five-minute walk just right over to this yeah. uh, this house. So um, we'll sprinkle in some some footage of, of this particular deal. So, but yeah, it was really cool. It, it was extremely overpriced when it first got brought to market. We were told it was renovated, right? Yeah. Uh, and oh you guys will see yes. yeah. not renovated. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll also show you the comp that's currently on the market that uh, it's very similar floor plan, but they converted it from uh, four units to three units. And, you know, that's what we're doing. So we don't really want to turn it from from four to three. I think we just keep it four. What do you think? Correct. Yeah, actually, I think uh, if we keep it as a as a fourplex, we keep the value. We have an extra unit for revenue. Um, but something I want to backtrack and talk about. I'm so glad that we went out there, especially on Water Wednesday, because like we had just gone through that crazy ass storm, like my first crazy storm out here. <laughs> um, and uh, man, the water was fucking amazing. Right. Like we was just me and you chilling, hanging out, and we're like, hey, let's go look at a deal while we were on the boat and the fact that it was closer to get there on the boat was just awesome. But yeah, so yeah, I got to tell you guys, this uh, this specific deal, 
renovated. Uh, gosh darn it. It's funny how you talk to these investors and they're like, their definition of renovation is like, oh, I slapped paint on this beam here and therefore the house is renovated. Right. We're done. Let's let's tack on an extra $100,000 yeah. to the price. Right. What? Yeah. Um, so their renovation on this deal was they added... Uh, granite countertops or something? Yeah, they left everything in place, but granite countertops in, didn't repurpose any use of space. Uh, they upgraded uh, some electric, but it all, it had wood paneling, so all of it's surface mounted, uh, as opposed to actually going in and, you know, taking some of that off and putting drywall in and the tile floors are all wonky, so there really wasn't a whole lot of improvement in, in value as far as renovation work, but there also wasn't many improvement in the operations, right? Yeah. Let's talk about, we tried to underwrite it and see what the value actually was going to be. And it was nowhere close because they do have it on Airbnb. And this thing was doing $23,000 a year from four units. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. So let's talk about a little bit about how you run your underwrite and how you put it through AirDNA and some other uh, platforms to kind of see without looking at other units around the area, but yeah. to say this particular unit would do X and here's what they're asking. And for us, you'll see why it doesn't work uh, unless we can get it at a steal of a price and then also figure out what the other comps are in the area. Yeah. Well, first, when you sent me the numbers of their proven numbers of, on Airbnb, I was like, they're better off. They shouldn't have sent us these at all because all they did was scare us away. Like 23000 for the year on four units. Like think about that for a second, right? Mm -hmm. That's what, $5,000 a year? Yeah. Per door, four hundred a month. Like, what are we talking about right now? Yeah. On a, on, a, and it was selling for what, like one point. They were originally asking one point four. I think they're at they're at one point one now, one point three or one point yeah, two, something like that. Yeah. Anyway, so like, just think about the mortgage for that for a second, right? You're you're talking about a six thousand dollar a month mortgage, maybe more, and you're making that in one year that you're supposed to be paying more for in one month. Doesn't make sense. Anyway, so to the underwriting part, I, we don't look at those numbers. We we f first. What I use their DNA for is I go in and I look at the basic number of what it would be projected to make. Mm -hmm. Now, AirDNA is very botchy. It's not a good source, but it gives me a very base understanding of what it would do for the year if I stick to whatever they're saying based on the data that they've pulled. Yeah, well, they give you a range, Correct. right? I mean, for us as professionals that do this all day, every day, as opposed to somebody that just picked up one and then they set it and forget it, everything's you know very... Manila, no pictures on the wall, no rugs, no yeah. unique experience. Nothing. You're uh, not standing out. No, not at, at all. all. So I, I looked at the photos. I looked at what they had inside there. It had, you know, nice, decent furniture. I, I wouldn't say it was like super low end, but it wasn't high end. It was just a, you know, typical Amazon you know, or Wayfair. Amazon, yeah, yeah. typical uh, um, furniture, which we'll probably have to get replaced in about a year or two um, because of wear and tear, knowing that type of furniture in my experience. Anyway. So I look at the photos and I go on their DNA and I try to find all the comps in the area that have a similar look inside the property, which is what I did. And uh, then we went through it and then we take the room count and the bathroom count and we check what that little pool uh, or that little island. So Topso is a very private island. Mm -hmm. It's not like a typical, like there's one bridge to get in, one bridge to get out. You can get very accurate data from a place like that because there's no other way to go, right? It's not like you can go into... You can't comp the island with something in the city, even though they're five miles apart. It's got to be only what's on that spot, and so which is good. And so we ended up pulling numbers, and they were, each one was projected to do around thirty-three thousand um, dollars. Which we found out, which was interesting, is a one-one was going to do thirty-three thousand dollars, <laughs> and a two-one was going to do like twenty-five thousand yeah. dollars. So it tells us something, right? People on the island actually like one-ones better than two-ones, and so I thought that was great. I was like, okay, cool. Now. That could hurt us, but it could also mean, hey, maybe we can find a way to fix this layout to where we convert it and not have to do still crazy rehab work to where we can convert it to maybe more one ones, like what do you call them? The efficiency yeah. um, small units. Right. Um, or we could just leave it that way, but now target a very specific customer that wants two ones, like, um, you know, mom, dad with the, with the son old enough or daughter old enough to where they want their own room. Right. Right. Um, anyway, now uh, the thing with this deal was we could just not find anything that comped anywhere near it. Because the one true comp that we found was that that triplex, right? Yep. And that triplex was going for 1.1, and this thing was like actually running. Like, now we're talking a, a good real estate renovation. Oh, it was it was hardwood floors, brand new cabinets, uh, and most of the units all new furniture, smooth ceilings, drywall. You know, not knotty pine walls and ceilings, and yeah. uh, or, you know, reused 
I mean, I'm, I'm still laughing about the level of renovation. Right. Like, yeah, you know, we're going to drop some footage for you guys to watch it here so you guys can kind of see us as we're talking because, oh, my goodness, this thing was like, uh, this is like, first of all, he overpaid. When he for bought sure. it, he overpaid. He probably overpaid, what, 200, 250 yeah. grand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's trying to make that on the back end by selling it as renovated, yeah. overpricing it by almost, like, that. That that's probably worth low 900s, mid 800s. Yeah. Right, yeah, and they're asking for one point two, one point three, like it's Which just. Which they started at one four, so correct, and and you can see it. So something that we also did is we tracked um, what they bought at, what they started on the market at, and how they've continuously dropped the price because they know huge chunks, huge chunks. It's not, not like, like oh five, five grand, yeah, yeah. hundred grand at a time, a <laughs> hundred thousand dollars, and it wasn't like every six months, maybe less, right, every quarter or something. Um, tells you multiple things. So when you see something like that, is the sellers are either desperate to sell, um, they're in over their head, or they've got carrying costs that's just eating them up. They're, they're getting torn apart, right? Yeah. Um, but they also, this might be the, their only investment property. Correct. And they have full-time jobs, and they had, they've had this thing for three years with four units, and they did the renovations themselves, and it's just taken way too long, or they're, they're renting it to maybe their contractor, one of the units, so you can stay here for free yep. and bring your other guy, he stays here for free. And now all of a sudden they're three years in and they're like, this hadn't done anything. Yeah. So let's just exit and uh, try to make half a million dollars, which just simply isn't going to happen. Correct. Or they actually were trying to make 700. But quite honestly, this this is one of those ones that they might just need to yeah, exit it. Correct. They might need to come out at, at where they started and just maybe cover some of the costs. This deal specifically, the fact that they're, it might not even be that they're in over the head. Because uh, if I remember correctly, um, the agent said that, it was more of like a passion project or like something that they were just kind of doing with because they were, weren't they given rooms for free to family members right. and stuff like that? Which means, again, if you can afford to give somebody, you know, a year's worth of free rent on a place like this on the beach, and we're talking like across the street from the beach, like it took us three minutes to walk onto the beach, right? Again, you guys will see the, the, the footage here, but this deal, I don't know. What, what are your thoughts? Pass, negotiate at a low rate, right? I, I think we just, you know, we'll spend a little bit more time on it, but... Uh, I think it, it makes sense to uh, see how how desperate they are to, to unload it. I mean, Again, we're, we're not we don't need to force anything. We don't need to we don't need to do deals. We get to do unicorn deals or ones that uh, ones that just make the most sense. I think for us it was cool to go. You know, a lot of cool factors, right? We get to go get on the boat on Wednesday after a hurricane or no name hurricane, uh, and then <laughs> see if there's an opportunity for us to to work something that gives us an opportunity to go look at something and, and see, you know, how do you, what are you looking at when you look at a, something that's a value add versus what am I looking at? Uh, and then just not being emotional about it. Yep. You know what I mean? As opposed to, you know, we're short on time, whatever the case may be. And Hey, if this thing works cool, if it doesn't, you know, no hard feelings, we'll find one that does. I agreed. And, and I don't think any deal, it's not, it doesn't work out off the bat, right? This deal could definitely work if we get it at the right price, 100%. If we can get it low enough to where we know what we need to put into it, and we know that the, the, the money going back to the revenue it makes covers operations, plus you make some profit on top of it, yeah. right? Like if we get it at a low enough rate, uh, a price, and a good enough rate, because they were even offering a piece of seller finance deal, right? So um, we didn't get that deep into the details, but we wanted to share this deal with you guys because Number one, some of you guys might go, oh, my God, what a waste of time. Why would you even bother? But no, it's not because the one, we were on the boat, so we were having fun. Um, three, we went to go look at new property, which is what we love to do anyway, go look at property. Right. For all we know, this thing could have been a grand slam right. and been like, holy cow, let's put an offer in today. It's still, but it was four units. You're not looking at a single family. Correct. And, Small multifamily. Yeah. And uh, it, it's already uh, zoned to be a short-term rental. Yep. Uh, so, again, there's no regulations that would you'd have to – be doing something you shouldn't be doing or, you know, sometimes when you're arbitraging, you know, things all of a sudden they put regulations in like that mm -hmm. day and shut things down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there, there was a lot of, a lot of filters. We kind of already checked those boxes off, yeah. but, uh, again, it's just about taking the reps and, uh, putting in offers. Yeah. Um, with all that being said, right. Uh, the reason we wanted to talk about this deal specifically is because it's something we just recently did. And again, we want to talk about things that we're doing with you guys. Um, and it's not, it might not be a good deal, but at least you guys have something that you guys can might be able to reference with a similar experience that you guys have had, um, where you guys are, are trying to look at something or you don't know how it looks. At least now you have an understanding of like what numbers to look at, how to pull comps, 
the way the rehab looks. I mean, we can go in, into this deal a million different ways, but. Yeah, but I think the other part is, again, you, you're you pulling the data. Yeah. And it's using the actual data off of that property that's in their system already, mm-hmm. uh, which could potentially be horribly wrong. Correct. But that's just the data that's been proven. Correct. And uh, it just might not be the case when we, if we were to get our hands on it. Um, well, I, I do, no, I mean, even at 33K, I think it would have been pretty decent because we would be doing 120, 132,000 dollars a year. Yeah, but then it's just a matter: of, is it worth our time and effort? Right. Depends on what our operation costs are, how much time and effort would it take? Again, it's in a it's in a town where we don't have any resources currently. Whereas, correct, you know, our current market here, Carolina Beach, we've got in house maintenance, in house, uh, you know, service, yeah. and and all those things. Full we team. got we got full team of of hourly cleaners and other folks that are on on salary versus this was going to be you know 150 to 200 a trip for cleaning which you know most times gets passed through but if it's something where you have folks that are working for substantially less you're able to make a couple couple dollars on the cleaning but, well you, uh, you also brought up a fantastic point on top of all this is is it worth our time right like is it worth the deal of right. our time because at that same price, you can find something here with more doors mm-hmm. doing three times the amount of, of revenue a year. Right. Why would we go to a market where, again, there's no resources? Right. Uh, we're going to have to start everything from the ground up, and it's going to be just a small little thin, you know, squeezing out a little bit of cash flow. Yeah. So. But it's also expanding your communication with brokers and saying, hey, this is kind of what I'm looking for. And this particular deal is on market, but there's other ones that come across that aren't, yeah. you know. That's key. The fact that we went out there, we took it serious. The broker knows we're actually out there looking. That's a big deal. Even if the deal doesn't happen, they know you're actively looking. Yeah. And that's how you build those relationships, right? Like building those relationships are, are crucial because the, the next deal he might come across that doesn't go live on the market sends to you. He goes, hey, these guys are actually looking. Yeah. The last one was crap. He knows it was crap. This one might be good. Yeah. Oh, he's the next Just one. like we're behind our neighbor's house here. Yeah. A house on deep water. <laughs> uh, it has an existing house and we're getting it... Uh, for half a million dollars so uh very easily could have been listed for 800 but just from being here and being available and and you know helping somebody uh it works out for everybody yeah agreed and it's also being in the vicinity of where people are actually doing stuff right you're here actively looking i mean holy cow you're literally buying the neighbor's house like what right and a lot of people are like i never would have came across that deal well it's about having conversations relationships right real estate is a relationship business yeah and that's the third time we've done that here in Carolina Beach, from buying a hotel and then buying the neighboring <laughs> hotel, badass. buying the, a beach cottage and then meeting the neighbor the next day, and they put a for sale by owner sign up. We buy that house, so um, that's great, dude. I yeah. love that. So it's it's not a one off for us. It's amazing that uh, it's happened more than once. But anyhow, well, yeah, let's um, let's wrap this one up, and then we'll we'll check in about uh, some other things we got going on. Guys, if you guys on anything specific that you guys need to learn about want to talk about or want us to share our experience, shoot us an email and uh, we'll put the email below and we'll answer all your questions. We're here to, we, we like doing this. I mean, we're out here smoking cigars in this beautiful weather, recording this, sharing our experience. And actually this works as a uh, reflection moment of like this deal. Like we would have had this conversation outside the camera anyway. So why yeah. not have it here? Why people go, oh, okay, this is what they talk about, right? right. Now you guys get to see a hands-on of like, this deal might not work, but hey, we're not going to let it go. We're going to wait and see if maybe it drops, if it ends up working out or something comes from it. So that being said, we love you guys. We'll see you on the next one.